Hi everyone, meteorologist Anthony Baglione here in the WRAL Severe Weather Center. I hope you've had a great weekend so far. Managed to soak up some dry time because we have some changes on the way for us. Let's talk about our Sunday forecast. So we've been talking all along here about the rainfall on the way. This is a look specifically at our severe storm chances. So I know a lot of people wondering, okay, is it going to be like what we had last weekend with the tornado, that severe potential? At this point, I do not think we will see a very great severe weather threat. However, where you see that yellow showing up, that's at level two out of five from the Storm Prediction Center, really probably closer to the coast, but even our very far southeastern areas, there could be an isolated strong to severe storm a very rogue chance of a tornado, maybe some strong wind gusts, things like that. The overall severe potential though remains relatively low. The biggest impact for us from this system going to be rain and some wind. Just bottom line, that's what we're expecting. Here's future cast. We go forward in time overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning. That's really when the rainfall starts to push in. There is 4 or 5 a.m. or so we could see some light rainfall. I'll pause this at 6 o'clock. Again, most of us heading out to church services, getting coffee, going for a walk. It's going to be a mess. The dogs are going to be probably wet if you're taking the dog out and, and all of that. So just plan for it here on our Sunday. We go through the day. There's lunchtime, very heavy rainfall. There will be probably some off and on breaks. There's 8 o'clock into the evening. But most of us, when we're in it, it's going to be off and on through the entire day. Monday morning, there could be a few leftover light sprinkles early for the Monday morning commute. Most of this, though, will be out of here and we'll see a drier forecast into Monday itself. So tonight, mid to upper 40s, scattered showers, we'll call it. It's going to get messy for us tomorrow. We'll see temperatures ranging from the low 60s for Clinton to the low 50s there for Roxborough, 57 in Raleigh and around the Triangle. Winds will also be a factor for us, but I think on the whole, across the triangle and the central parts of our viewing area, up to about 25 mile per hour gusts during the mainly evening time frame, there could be some with us though through the day itself, and then they pick back up again tomorrow night into Monday morning. Let's say 25 to 35 mile per hour gusts here widespread across our viewing area. We see temperatures, though, still relatively cool for us tomorrow. 57, 56 on Monday, 44, a cold forecast there on Tuesday. The first day of winter there on Thursday at 56 degrees and an overall pretty quiet week.